Here we go. So today is uh, January the 23rd. We are on the leadership call and I'm stepping in today even for, for Ben as Ben is uh, traveling and on his way to the airport. So good morning, everybody. Today, what I would like to talk about is something that we all know about, but we may not always understand the impact of it, which is leverage and compound. Um, as many of you know, or maybe all of you know, we have, uh, you know, there's a new PowerPoint that we used last Saturday for the Poway. Um, and, you know, nothing new, but different way of presenting the information. And the leverage and compound is really what network marketing is about, isn't it? Right? And we can use, you know, I talk about leverage and compound in every aspect of what we do. There's obviously immediately people think about the financial side, but we also talk about the health side. So let's talk about something that everybody agrees without a problem, I'm sure, on this call. The compound of our habits, right? Our choices. So from a health point of view, if we make smart choices, great. If we don't make that much smart choices health-wise, we will pay the price. It may not show up right away but it definitely will show up. I read an article in a newspaper last week that talks about, you know, um, how we age is actually the reflection of the lifestyle choices that we've made the years before. Can we all agree to that? <laughs> right? Um, and, but we don't necessarily, so it's really the compounding effect of our choices. So from a food point of view, from a, exercise or lack of exercise, from sleep or no sleep, anything that we do we show up in our health and in our vitality, right? So I don't know about you, but I'm choosing vitality, not the opposite. So which means that everything I do is based on that principle. So we all understand the compounding. Now, we also have a very good understanding of compounding of the money. We hear that all the time. You know, you're talking to people in the financial field. You talk to them about leverage and compound. And they understand what that means, right? And they understand that the more it's little by little that you accumulate wealth. Well, isn't that what network marketing is? And isn't that why, let's be honest, we are all in the camp. I know we have the we love the product. I'm not even talking about this. I'm passionate about it. That's a given, right? But from a business standpoint and lifestyle point of view, why are we here? Because we understand the power of leverage and compound. Now the question is, do we talk about it? Enough? How do we communicate it to people? Because a lot of time we're shy talking about it. We're shy about really understanding. Or we may not have the right tools to show them what it is. Great comment from Catherine. Yes, please, everybody, mute yourself. Or actually, let me do this. And I forgot to do this. I'm going to mute everybody. Hold on. Um, I've been, it's been a while I haven't done that mute. Mute all. Here we go. Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording, so hold on. Okay. All right. So, so really talking about compounding and leverage is very important. You know, it, it's, what do we say in our presentation? What are the two main reasons of stress in people's life nowadays? It's health, more exactly lack of health. Money, more exactly lack of money. Right? So what are, we are solution providers. We are educators and solution providers. You may or may not agree with that, but that's how I feel about thinking. I'm an educator and a solution provider. Which means what? I must educate about health and I must educate about financial solution. And talking about leverage and compounding is key. Because too often people aren't, um, we are, you know, the... The advertising, all the news, we are looking for the quick fix. We're looking for the immediate gratification. 
Well, leverage on Kanban is not that. <laughs> it's definitely not that. It takes time. So we really want you to communicate that concept. So when we talk to people about, you know, health, and I know we will do that, like weight management, weight management is very different than weight loss. Totally different. I'm in weight management. I'm not in weight loss. I'm passionate about our weight management product. And you look at me and say, how come? I mean, you, 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 you're tiny. Yeah, but, but because I understand the power of being, of being at your ideal weight. So I talk about weight management all the time, right? So when you talk about money and our financial opportunity, do we really talk about that compounding and the fact that it takes time? It's leveraging the effort of others. It's leveraging time. And that creates the compounding effect that creates the wealth over time. Right? So becoming very comfortable and confident with this is critical. And, and I find, you may or may not agree, um, for those of you around the line, but I've, or those who are listening, that a lot of time women are less comfortable talking about that than that, that men. Because it's money is always a little bit of a touchy thing, right? We are a bit un, you know, uncomfortable with that. Well, we, we really want to become very comfortable about it. Very comfortable. So what are the tools we can talk about it? If you, let me share with you, I want to share my screen. If my mouse was cooperating, that would be great. Here we go. Let me see which one. On, um, can you see this one? Let me see. All right. Uh, if some, can you see this one? Yes? Because it's interesting when I share my screen, um, I'll have to stop sharing for a second because I, when I share my screen, suddenly you all disappear. So did you see that? Okay. So let me share this again. Right. So this slide that we was shown last Saturday, we talk about, you know, the teach three, reach three, which is really about leveraging and compounding. Now, you know, we understand this. And we, we see the potential of the income here at each level, whether it's silver to gold diamond. Now, I don't know about you, but as you see that, or if you show that to a new person, how real does it feel? Or how attainable does it feel, right? That's one thing, but it's important to talk about it. But very often people say, well, okay, in, in you know, in, in, when I think about it, Finding three who teach three, this is great, but how often do I see that happening, right? Because the law of thought also happens. So let me show you something else. Um, let me just stop sharing this. And because I want to show you another, another slide. And after that, I will open up and ask, and we'll open up to question or comment from each and every one of you. So this is, the other slide that I'm showing. That's an old document that I have, but I'm sure most of you have seen it before. It's the power of one. So the power of one, what does it say? It says that, you know, if I'm, I'm Bernadette, I'm starting right now, it's January 1st, I'm on my own. Now, my goal is to bring one person a month, one consultant a month, just one. So which means what? That for the next 12 months, by the end of the 12 months, I would have sponsored 12 people, right? And my job is to teach each person, each of those new consultants, to bring one person a month, one person a month only. Now, as you look at that is, People say, so what, how many people do you believe you will have at the end of 12 months? And, and you know, I, and I get all the numbers, 144, because people do 12 by 12 and, or whatever. But actually, at the end of 12 months, if that duplication was perfect, I bring one, 
I teach that person to bring one, and then the, the second level would change. By the end of 12 months, there will be actually 4,096 people in the network. Now, when we talk about leverage and compound, so that takes time, right? Because after four months, 16 people, you know, it takes, you know, it really takes time to build to that level. Now, from a money standpoint, imagine that each of those consultants, we create an ownership through a retail customer of 100 CV. I'm not talking PV here. I'm talking about CV. And each of those consultants, we teach them to do one 100 CV a month. Look at the volume at the end of the 12 months. Over 400, uh, 400, uh, 409,000 uh, CV. Based on the 6% volume, look at the income generative. Now, I'm going to sh stop sharing my screen now. Right? Now, this is perfect duplication. I get it. Doesn't happen that way. I get it. But even if it was happening at 30%, why am I saying 30%? Well, because the law of, the th the law of third. Right? The law of third would, bring, would create about 30, 1,300 consultant and about $6,000. Leverage and compound. Now how many people, and whether I say to people, whether it takes you one year or two years, or even three years, because how much money do we need to have in the bank for that money to create $6,000 of interest? Millions of dollars. <laughs> how many people have millions of dollars in the bank? that they can live in the bank, hoping it's going to create $6,000 of interest. Do you know many people like that? Not many. And definitely not the average person, right? So even if it takes two years, three years, five years, is it worth it? I know the answer. I say yes, right? So the question is, do we truly understand the power of leverage and compound? Do we really talk about it? Do we have the patience, the consistency, the discipline to do this? So here, I'm, I went to the one, right? I use that on a member say, well, yeah, it takes time. Yes, it takes time. Now show me something else that's going to create this. That is legal, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that anybody can do with very little because this is the power that anybody can leverage and, and use this to create, to develop their finance, become financially strong. And that's what I wanted to really focus on today. The power of leverage and compound. We understand the health side of it. We know that. But the money, how do we talk about it? Are we really convinced? I know it takes time. Building a network marketing can take time, but it takes longer and we tend to feel maybe, let's be honest, more discouraged sometimes or wondering, am I able to make this happen? Because right now, yes, I'm making money, but it's all cash flow because it's based on my retail. If you are more of a retailer, am I really able to build that residual income? Well, that comes through leverage and compound. And we need to understand this. We need to talk about it in a big way. Right. So at this point in time, I'm going to mute all and want to do this call a bit different than usual because I think it's important. And I, we have another a few minutes and, um, you know, feel free just to make a comment, ask a question and we'll go from there. Um, here we go. You should be all unmuted on my side. So if you want to unmute. Yes, here we go. And if there's noise in your, in your background, please mute back, okay? So then we don't get that. So, so any ahas, any comments, any questions? Yes, my, my aha is no question. <laughs> um, I, I, am a, I'm, I have been comfortable in retailing and I'm pushing myself out of my box to recruit. And I think that's pretty much all of us and uh, that have been around for a while, all the new people, you know, we're catching them on to this new concept, which is awesome. 
So thank you, thank you. Excellent, excellent. We'd love, we'd love that slide, by the way. <laughs> Can which, you see? which one? Because I showed the power, two. The power of one. That's uh, that's that's something I forgot about. But I I I remember vaguely seeing it, but I never had it. Right. Let you know. Right. Absolutely. Excellent. Anyone Thank else? You. I want to make a comment. Um, two things. The first time you see money coming into your account and you didn't do it, you didn't do the work, that's when you realize the power of compounding and leverage. And so I, when I'm working with new people, that's my goal is to help them get to that point because I can talk all day, um, but if they don't experience it, it it's never real. But I, I still remember the first time I saw money show up that I didn't do anything about and it was pretty pretty profound. And then the other thing is, um, I think uh, this has become so much more clear to me the more uh, I am in the business and now that I'm actually attracting leaders and doing some fun stuff. And that is the power of um, our constructive affirmation becomes ongoing and critical to create what you want. And so doing a lot of the work, that's like so basic, you have to do it. But I think a lot of the beliefs get people in, get in their way of moving forward to create that Bernadette. And so for me, it's if you're not, let me say it positively, by working actively on creating that positive supportive belief along with the active supportive activity, that's the win-win to create that kind of a lifestyle. Um, so just having been through it, and people have different journey timings. I just want to add that. Excellent. Great points. Anyone else? Bernadette, yes, Randy, I, I just uh, really thank you for this uh, presentation because it's a, it's a great reminder and I don't talk about the leveraging and compounding enough, especially in the money area. So thank you for the reminder. And, and uh, I love the power one. I look forward to getting that slide. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Anyone else or comments or questions? No? <clears throat> we good? <laughs> so, excellent. So when, you know, then remember is the leverage and compounding, talk about in the three aspects. You know, it's going back to the slides um, that was shown on, the, on Saturday at the Power Aid, which is, you know, when you talk about planet, people, and profit, that is also very important. Mm -hmm. so the leverage and compounding effect of and what impact does it have on the planet you know i'm i'm very, I'm, I'm very important on the, on the planet i'm going to mute all okay um you know i'm 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 very much all about preserving you know really being very mindful about what's happening to our planet and our environment well, let's talk about that. You know, we, we all know about the negative impact of the plastics. Well, you know, what does it do then? So the leverage and compound is not just money, it's not just health, it's the planet, is our impact in our community, is in everything that we do. Um, and, and that's how we're going to really resonate with people at a higher level and a much wider impact as well. Right, because if you're talking to somebody who's really um, more into, for example, when I talk to people who are more into the nonprofit world, while well, talking to them about money is bizarre. They are not. They, they, there's really a discomfort there. We talk about the money, but I talk a lot about the impact. This is, you know, through the efforts of a team of a group. This is the impact and leveraging each other's. Um, time and effort and, and teamwork, this is the impact that we have on the planet and on the community. That's really important. Who's talking? <laughs> I, see all, I see all faces. And I, oh, is yes. it Carol? Yes. yes I Carol. think that really, I, I'm really happy that you brought that up because, you know, the things on the, the, the planet, people and profit, the circles, I think that that's, that's a great thing to expand. And a lot of people I work with, that, that has a great impact to know that we are concerned about all three. And the mm -hmm. planet is 
the big deal. So mm -hmm. thank you. Excellent. Yes, Yoko. I, I have brought that subject up of, of the plastics in the ocean a, a number of times in the last year. I, 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 must, I have to re rephrase it because people's eyes will go wide open and they, they don't even make the correlation, you know, because I see so many people with plastic bottles, you know, the junk bottles walking around drinking. So yeah, there, it, it, it's, a, it's a great concept now that, that, that you have it on the slides. And it's a much more positive frame than me. I was like kind of explaining it on like a, a, a like think about it, you know. And, and and it's it's a it's a it's a very powerful point. It is very powerful. It is very powerful. You know, oh, we talk about the 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 incidence of sugar of obesity in our children and our grandchildren. You know, people are very. But here's the thing: we need to go to the next step. It's not just about talking about it. It's not just about making a statement of the statistics and the doom and gloom. It says, so what do you think you can do on your side? Really asking people to take ownership and then say, because I've decided to do something about it and it's not with me. Yes. Right? And what I've decided in terms of the plastic, for example, pollution, and we talk about that, is I've decided not to use and buy a plastic bottle, I've decided, and this is what I found. So it's a matter of really just framing it in a way that people will buy into what we do, will buy into the concept and say, yeah, that's a smart move. I, I, how can I do that? How can I get it? Right? It's all about talking about the benefits and the impact and, and really and, and, and being passionate about it, there's no doubt about it, right? Um, but, but it's really about, and what are you going to do about it? Because too often we state a problem, we make a statement, but we don't ask an action. What are you going to do about it? A thought is occurring to me, um, not only do we benefit those three Ps, but I think and this is, I think, maybe what Carol, what I was hearing Carol say between the words is people resonate with maybe more of one than the other. So it's sort of like that communication quadrant. If you touch on each of those three, one of them will resonate with the person you're talking with, mm -hmm. typically. So having a statement where we do just what you said, Bernadette, this is what I've decided and what I've found. Somewhere weaving each of the benefit to the people, the planet, and the profit they're going to walk away with remembering at least one of them, whatever they resonate with. So I, I like how you phrase that. And I think we need to do it for each one because we don't know what they tune into. Exactly. You know, and, and for example, you know, if I talk about myself, you all know my story, how I started. It's really the health that really brought me into Niken. I'm, I'm, I'm health is, is, is a major, major part of my life. And and, and so I could say, you know, what, 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 this, this was the issue, this is what, what happened, this is what is, I decided to do. And then you could say, so for example, if your, your interest is more of the planet and the community, this is, and this is what I'm doing right now. What I didn't expect is the impact that I had on the people from the lifestyle standpoint and even on their quality of life from a f financial standpoint and, and economic standpoint. Now you're opening up the door. What, this is what got my interest, is really making that impact on the planet. What I didn't expect is the impact I would have on the people and their economic situation. Yes. And people say, what do you mean? Right? Now that's, you're opening the door. If you say, you know, the reason why I decided to do that, because I could see I could make a difference in people's life. What I didn't expect is the amount or the significance of my decision, what it would do, the impact it would have on the planet or on the... So you could, whatever, however you started, whatever you, 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 are, you are really passionate about, just know you can open the door to all. That's beautiful. It's how you say it. Makes sense? I hope that helps. It does. Right? So we have five minutes. If 
if there's no more questions, no more comments, we can end the call. I'm all about being efficient with our time. Um, but we have five more minutes, so I'm going to ask one more time and go around. And otherwise, we can just say bye to each other and wish each other a wonderful week. So any last comment, any last question? Can you show those two slides again, please? I didn't get a screenshot. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, I have one slide that disappeared. Hold on, I need to bring it up. So give me a second. Here we go. So this is the first one. Let me bring it. Here we go. All right. Perfect. And now I'm going to stop share and show the next one. So then you can all take a screenshot. Here we go. All right, perfect. All right, everybody. Listen, it, we have another nine, 10 days until the end of the month. Really, let's finish it strong, right? It's all a matter of, you know, it's, you know, with it in, in, you know, it, it's all about, you know, to me, there's three way, three things we want to focus on every single time, every single month in everything that we do. There's retelling, there's recruiting, and rank advancement. Retelling, recruiting, that's what I teach my team, three R's. And I said, you're going to be sick and tired of hearing me talk about the three R's. But it's retelling, recruiting, rank advancement. Not enough to retell. It's not enough to recruit. We need to rank advance people, right? And what do we, how do we help people rank advance? By retelling, recruiting. What a concept. <laughs> what a concept. So remember those, the three R's, retelling, recruiting, and rank advance. So, and everything we need to do every month, every activity we need to do, they need to help move those three pieces together, put forward. I said to people, if you're looking at leveraging and compounding and your efforts and building that residual income, you want to do to take action, to build those three. It cannot be retelling. It cannot be just recruiting. We need to do something that always do those three. Retelling, recruiting, rank advance. And we keep duplicating that. It's just that simple. Hope that makes sense to everybody. All right. Thank you for being on the call today. I hope you had some really good tips. I wish you a fantastic week. And I'll see you next time. Can you hear me? Bye, everybody. Hello. Thank you, Bernadette. Bernadette. Thank you so much.